Hey y'all. Okay, so I'm gonna do a quick vid for you because, you know, I got time. I gotta go to the, oh, man, I'm not happy about it. I'm so not happy. I gotta go to the dentist. I have an issue. Um, I think that one of my teeth is broken in the back up here. And I've been tasting like a grainy sensation, almost like sand. Because I had sand in my mouth when I was at the dog park because a dog kind of playfully bum rushed me so it kind of felt like sand i'm like but i wasn't at the dog park why do i feel sand in my mouth it was a, i think it was parts of my tooth to be quite honest um so it's very painful the the um gums will swell and then they won't and then they'll swell and then they won't and it's going back and forth and around and around so anyway um i gotta get i'm at the point now where Whatever you got to do, let's just do it. Needles, whatever, go do whatever. Just, just, just fix her. Okay. All right. So <clears throat> I want to do a continuation. <clears throat> Excuse me. I want to do a continuation of what I said in the other video, where if the person doesn't care about you and they don't, if they're a narcissist, they don't give a rat's ass. They may fake it in the beginning. And some of them are so lazy, they don't even bother to fake it, which is good because I could get rid of you sooner. Anyway, um, so some of them don't even take care of themselves. They won't do hygiene, good hygiene. Um, they won't cut their hair. They won't wash their ass. They won't take care of their teeth. They don't take care of nothing. And then <clears throat> one girl told me, <clears throat> well, not told me personally, but she said online, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> I need water. Um, one lady said, his feet were so rank that when he walked barefoot across my kitchen floor, I had to mop the floor. I let that sink in. That's straight up disgustingly nasty, and there's no words for that. That's just straight Oh, They let their teeth get nasty. They don't brush their damn teeth. Their breath is gross. I mean, some people are just like that. I don't know. They're, they're, some narcissists are like that. And then you have other narcissists that are the total opposite. They're more prissy than a woman. Okay. One that I knew. Uh, he is very vain. G girly. He's more woman than any woman I know. <clears throat> um, and he, if he cared about other people as much as he cares about his hair, baby, he'd be the most loving person in the world. His hair is his vanity. The hair, the hair, the hair, the hair, the hair. Like I said, more womanly than most women. <clears throat> so you got one extreme or the other. Then you have people that are right in the middle. They will shower, but they don't take care of their teeth. And their hair is nasty. They haven't had a haircut since Jesus was little, which is common sense. You should make yourself look presentable. I mean, just, just it's just really out there. Um, so... Either way you look at it, where you know, either they're vain, too into their self, or if they're narcissists, they don't care. They care more about themselves than you, more about their cologne or their hairstyle or whatever than you. Um, or the other side of it, where they have horrible hygiene. <clears throat> that must be glare on the way. Oh, that's my shirt. Glare for my shirt. Or they have horrible hygiene and <clears throat> um, they could never care about you because they don't even care about their se themselves. So either way you look at it, it's bad for you. <clears throat> it's a win for them because they like living like that. But it's not good for you. You know, it's just not good. So <clears throat> when you start to see these little signs, these little telltale signs... In addition to not giving a shit about what goes on with you, if you're going to be alone, then you need to be alone. As in, why do you need an extra person sucking up your airspace that you could be breathing when they don't care about you no way and they don't care about themselves? And it's not my job to teach you how to wash your ass. And like I said, either extreme you look at, <clears throat> vain and stuck up or nasty, either way, no. It's a no. 
And being a narc is a no period point blank anyway. I'm done with that shit. Done. They need to date each other. Y'all drive each other crazy. Because those of us who are tired of you, we're tired of you. And that's it. Um, uh, there was something else. Let me think. Oh, remember I told you a long time ago. Oh, and I got to go because I don't want to be late for disappointment. But I told you a long time ago that <clears throat> I got burnt. I didn't know this individual was a narc. I got burnt by spaghetti sauce because I had a slow cooking in my um, slow cooker. My lid has an issue, so I had to put it in there with no lid, and then I have to use a spatula to kind of pry the, you know, scoop the lid off. Well, it's the lid went sideways and scooped the wrong way. It scooped like that towards me, and the scalding hot spaghetti sauce ended up on me and burnt the crap out of me. <clears throat> and I'm like, ah! I mean, because God, the pain, right? The agony. He stood there watching me like this. Now, mind you, I'm yelling. Scalding hot spaghetti sauce. And he's just... I'm jumping around like a grasshopper yelling. He is unfazed. He just stood there like a zombie. Because I'm used to people being useless, I just automatically go into the, what I need to do for myself. So I got a cold um, dishcloth and I, or a dishcloth and I just immediately put it on cold water and put the cold water on my body. I'm used to people being assholes. But I'm at the point now, in, in a survival mode, you better do what you got to do because if you're with the wrong person, you got to do what you got to do anyway. You better hope that if you were in a car wreck, that you're conscious enough to call 911 because if they were in the car, they'd probably sit there and look at you unconscious and do nothing or get out the car and check their hair and make sure their hair is still in place. You got to get rid of demons, baby. Male or female, man, you're dating a woman, a man, it don't matter. I don't care if you're dating a goldfish. If they're narcissistic, get them the freaking hell out of your life because they're destructive as hell. Y'all take care. Much love. Bye.